Okay, this is question number 43 from our practice paper for P4 SA2, the 2019 paper. Let's take a look at this question. It is very similar to a question in our book book. Okay, pasting post-its onto a notice board and there's a gap. Right, so <clears throat> if you're able to do the one in the book book, you probably should, would not have a problem here. Sally pastes four cm square post-it papers into nine columns and four rows on a rectangular notice board as you can see here you can see the f the pa little squares being drawn on nine columns so you can count one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine columns and four rows goes this way four rows okay nine columns i go left to right and there's a 2cm gap not covered by the post-it papers. Okay, I can already identify the 2cm gap here. This is the 2cm gap. Not covered by the post-it papers. Question A. What is the rectangle formed by the post-it papers? And B. What is the parameter of the rectangular notice board? Okay, the first and foremost, I think one of the tricky, tricky things is that you need to identify the two rectangles that are being explained here. I think square, I think not a problem because most of us are able to identify uh, the square. So what it means by 4cm square post-it papers is that you have squares and then its size is 4cm by 4cm. So I could tell this is 4 and then 4 4 and 4 and 4 and 4 and so on and so forth. Okay, and then on this side is also 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter. Okay, that's what it means. Into 9 columns and 4 rows, that's what is being explained here. Right, okay, so the first rectangle that is formed by the post it papers. Post it papers. That means you are not looking at the gap. That means I'm actually looking at... Let me put it thicker. This row as with this one, as in this one, as in this one. Okay, up to this point, just before the total line. Okay, this whole space. Okay. Oops, okay, a bit on the thick side. Okay, a bit on the thick side. Ooh, oh, oh no, sorry. Okay, so, but you get the idea, okay? So this is the space covered by, as you see, I highlight this. Okay, covered by the post-its. Excluding the gap there. So, looking at this information here, I can identify this first rectangle that is named by the post-it papers here. This is the breadth of the first rectangle and the length is from here to here. That's the length. Okay, so I can do go with A. The length of the rectangle formed by the post-it papers will be 9 columns times 4 centimeter, that is 36 centimeters. And then I have the breadth. The breadth is formed by 4 rows times 4 centimeter, that's 16 centimeter. So, in other words, I can actually just draw this in, you know, and then I can count, oops, and I can count how many, you know, squares, and each, each, I can. That's, 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 that's also the other alternative method. So altogether, there are actually 36 post-its. And then each post-it This is the alternative method. I'm doing the alternative at the same time. You only need to do one method, okay? In an exam, you just do one method to check. So one post-it area will be 4 times 4 
16 square centimeter. And you realize that actually you, you kind of get the same answer. So 9 times 4 and then 4 times 4. So it's still you still, you still see that it's 6, 36 times 16. But this is 36 and 16 is different. This 36 is the length, combined length of the rectangular notice board. That's what it is. And the breadth here was 16 centimeter. A bit different from what the 36 post it times 16 square centimeter but you know it gives you the same answer actually so to my multiplication you get 576 square centimeters areas formed by the rectangle uh, area of the rectangle formed by the post-its papers okay so that's the first one don't forget your units for area is square centimeter okay the next question asks for parameter of the notice board okay this part you have to be very clear okay it is the parameter not the area so i'm looking at the outline with the minute do i stop here no it's the notice board that i'm referring to that means including the gap that is not covered so this is the one the outline of the notice board. So I already got 36 as the length and I noticed that the breadth I need to add on add in this portion. Okay, I need to add in this portion of two centimeter gap. So the next part of this solution will be B parameter of the notice board. The board, not this board, uh, is a bit different from the rectangle formed by the post-it. Remember, there's a gap there. So I must include the gap. I will actually have 16 plus 2. Okay. That's one side, right? Okay, 16 plus 2. That means from here to here, 16 plus 2. That's the breadth. And then plus 16 plus 2 again, that's the other side, plus 36 and then 36. And that will give me the total of 108 centimeter. Okay, alternatively, alternatively I can also do 36 plus 16 plus 2, give me 54, and then 54 times 2, same thing. Okay, so one length times one length and one breath add together and then times two, you get two lengths and two breath. Okay, so that's the answer for the second portion, the B, 108 centimeter. Okay, this is question 43 for the revision paper.